I'd like to call to order the meeting of the Village Board for October 23rd, 2018. Could you please join us for the pledge? I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Village Clerk, would you please call the roll? President D. Simone? Here. Trustee Carmona? Here. Trustee Franz? Here. Trustee Jaworska? Here. Trustee Penicola? Here. That's five. We have a quorum. Uh, we will move the public comment at this time. Does anyone wish to address the board? If so, please approach the podium and state your name. No, we didn't get any. We do not have any public comment today, so this will conclude public comment. I would be seeking a motion to move up the presidential remarks ahead of everything else here, just uh, sake of time and getting some people to their places. So I have a motion to move up presidential remarks. You have a time. motion. Do I have a second? You have a second. All in favor, please say aye. 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 Any opposed, please say nay. Okay, so we'll be moving up the, um, the presidential remarks. So every year, uh, the village does a Halloween home decorating contest. Uh, there's been a, a ton of them out there, uh, ranging from mine that is probably have one pumpkin in front of the house, to people who have 70 plus inflatables in front of the house, to real live actors in front of the houses. So uh, I think it brings a cool sense of community to the town. Um, I hope this never ever goes away. I like the little camaraderie and the, the, the competitiveness, I guess we'd call it. Um, and I enjoy going out and seeing it. I've stopped by a couple homes. Uh, I stopped by uh, the wrestling home, and I also stopped by the Chucky home, and was just intense. So at this time, we uh, we want to announce our second place winner. So our second place winner is going to be. Oh, one. Eight twenty-five. Right? Is that it? Mm -hmm. That's correct. 825 West Green Street, um, which is going to be right above us, is the uh, the wrestling ring. So come on up front. We got the. Yes, if you guys could get behind the mayor and face the, the camera, we can get a picture and we'll get it up online. So a small uh, gift card, as well as the, uh, more importantly, the bragging rights. Just for the record, cool baby name. I'm a jet. <laughs> That's awesome. Jet, well, love it. Thank you very much. Thank you. Congratulations. My favorite part of this year's decorating was the subtle shade that some of the uh, houses were throwing against each other. You know, there's the, the Chucky house, and then another house you see Chucky hanging from a tree. So we see it. We appreciate it. Thank you for that. Our uh, first place winner today is uh, new to Bentsville, yes. correct? New, uh, new family. Uh, it's going to be at 237 South Church Road. Come on up. Congratulations, guys. Stuff. Yeah, this one was exciting. It had a, a haunted train going on, inflatables. It was great. Yeah, we, we picked up on it. Thank you. <laughs> right. We, so what's your guys' the motivation for your inspiration for decorating? Yeah. That's, there you go. There you go. <laughs> okay. 
So. That was me in high school. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Well, we look forward to it. Thank you so much. Again, all these houses were uh, nominated by other residents within the community, so it's really a community-wide event. We'll be doing a Christmas holiday decorating event once Christmas time comes around. And uh, we'll be back next Halloween for hopefully bigger and better decorations from everyone. So thanks for everyone who participated. Thanks for everyone for nominating. And thanks for all the residents who uh, helped us find these homes throughout the community. All right, so we'll, we'll finish the rest of public uh, or the presidential remarks later on. So let's move back to uh, approval of the minutes. Uh, is there a motion to approve the minutes from the October 9th, 2018 Village Board meeting? We have approved. We have a motion? We have a motion. Is there a second? Are there any modifications to the minutes? All in favor, please say aye. 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 All opposed, please say nay. The motion carries and the minutes are approved. The next item of business is to approve the warrant in the amount of $1,319,424.81. Is there a motion to approve the warrant? We have a motion. Is there a second on the motion? Second. Is there any discussion on the warrant? Please call the roll. Trustee Carmona? Yes. Trustee Franz? Yes. Trustee Jaworska? Yes. Trustee Panicola? Yes. That's four. We have a, a quorum. The motion carries and the warrant is approved. Uh, moving on to my favorite part of the meeting. Will the Deputy Village Clerk please read the ordinances and resolutions on the consent agenda that were discussed at the community, Committee of the Whole meeting? Absolutely. <clears throat> Number one, resolution authorizing the execution of a final balancing change order with John Neary Construction Company and a credit of $16,306.88 for the 2018 water, Village Water Main Replacement Project for revised contract costs of $1,248,859.12. Number two, resolution authorizing the execution of a design engineering service contract for the 2019 Village Street Improvement Project with James J. Benison Associates in ink in the not to exceed amount of $57,143. Number three, resolution authorizing the execution of a community development block grant disaster recovery agreement for the George Street Bypass Storm Sewer Project. Number four, resolution authorizing the execution of a final balancing change order with John Neary Construction Company for an increase of $146,804.95 for the George Street Bypass Storm Sewer Project for a revised contract cost of $1,000,000 $75,097.95. Number five, resolution authorizing the execution of a change order number one with Lindahl Brothers Inc. in an increase of $13,000 for sand and stone delivery and debris hauling in a revised not to exceed amount of $89,000. Number six, resolution authorizing the execution of a construction engineering service agreement for the York Road LAFO project in a not to exceed amount of $158,343.74. Number seven, resolution authorizing the execution of a local agency agreement with Illinois Department of Transportation for grant funding associated with the York Road LAFO project. Number eight, resolution appropriating the required local match funds in the amount of $776,309 for the York Road LAFO project. Number nine, ordinance approving a conditional use permit to allow an indoor athletic training facility at 472 Country Club Drive. Number 10, resolution approving a postage machine government pro uh, product lease agreement with Neopost. Number 11, resolution establishing a tax levy estimate in the amount of $5,425,000 for the 2018 per the Tr Truth and Taxation Act. Number 12, an ordinance approving a five-year re refuge service agreement with Republic Services. Number 13, resolution approving the bailment agreement with Old Second National Bank and the BMO Harris Bank uh, North America. Number 14, resolution adopting the 2019 meeting schedule for the Village of Bensonville. Sorry, I'm catching up. Is there a motion to approve the 14 resolutions and ordinances listed on the consent agenda and as read by the deputy clerk? You have, have a, a motion. motion. Is there a second to the motion? Second. Please call the roll. Trustee Carmona? Yes. Trustee Franz? Yes. Trustee Jaworska? Yes. Trustee Penicola? Yes. That's four. Motion carries and the items on the consent agenda are approved. Yeah, I just want to recognize our uh, partners at Republic Service are in the audience tonight. Their contact was just approved. 
Um, it was a probably year-long negotiation process. Um, it was spirited, it was lively, it was enjoyable. Um, in the end, uh, we were able to achieve an 8% reduction in what our residents will be charged for refuse service pickup. So it's a great win for the community. Um, you know, Mr. Vandermolen's been with this community for how many years, Rich? Longer than I've probably been on this earth, but thank you. <laughs> no, so we want to thank that long-term partnership. Uh, I also want to thank our uh, public works employees, Joe, and his staff, as well as finance for those uh, negotiations. And thank you for a contract that I think is a win for everybody. So thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Uh, moving on to uh, reports of village departments. We do not have a report for administration or community and economic development. On the finances, the ordinance abating the tax here 2-4 levied for the year 2018 to pay debt service on $17,975,000 series 2011A general obligations bond alternative revenue source of the village of Bensonville County of Cook and DuPage, Illinois. Is there a motion to approve the ordinance? We have a motion. Do I have a second on the motion? Second. There being a motion and a second, is there any discussion? Your Honor, if I may. Yep. So we've got a litany of these. These are called abatement ordinances. Uh, this is my favorite night of the year. Um, this is when we get to abate all these bonds. Abatements are essentially, uh, rather than having to levy property taxes on our revenues to pay these, the debt service on these bonds, we have achieved alternative revenue sources to make the payment. So every one of these that we'll do tonight is essentially a property tax savings to our residents. So it's a good thing for us. Um, it's a little wonky. It gets a little, I think we've got... 15 of them to do tonight. They sound all the same, but this is a really good thing. This is a true taxpayer advo advocacy thing that we do every year. So um, thanks to all the staff for putting the budget together to allow this to happen. Thank you. Can I, can you please call the roll? Trustee Carmona? Yes. Trustee Franz? Yes. Trustee Jaworska? Yes. Trustee Penicola? Yes. That's four. The motion carries and the ordinance is passed. Number two is an ordinance abating the tax heretofore levied for the year 2018 to pay debt service on $7,205,000 series 2011B general obligation bonds alternate revenue source of the village of Bentsville, counties of Cook and DuPage, Illinois. Is there a motion to approve the ordinance? We have a motion. Do I have a second on the motion? Second. There being a motion and a second, is there any discussion? Please call the roll. Trustee Carmona? Yes. Trustee Franz? Yes. Trustee Jaworska? Yes. Trustee Penicola? Yes. That's four. The motion carries and ordinance is passed. Number three is an ordinance abating the tax heretofore levied for the year 2018 to pay debt service on $1,380,000 series 2011C general obligations bonds alternate revenue source of the village of Bentsville, counties of Cook and DuPage, Illinois. Is there a motion to approve the ordinance? We have a motion. Do I have a second on the motion? We have a second. There being a motion and a second, is there any discussion? Please call the roll. Trustee Carmona? Yes. Trustee Franz? Yes. Trustee Jaworska? Yes. Trustee Penicola? Yes. That's four. The motion carries the ordinance is passed. Number four is an ordinance abating the tax here to four levied for the year 2018 to pay debt service on $1,630,000 series 2011D general obligation bonds alternate revenue source of the village of Bentsville, counties of Cook and DuPage, Illinois. Is there a motion to approve the ordinance? We have a motion. Do I have a second on the motion? Second. There being a motion and a second, is there any discussion? Please call the roll. Trustee Carmona? Yes. Trustee Franz? Yes. Trustee Jaworska? Yes. Trustee Penicola? Yes. That's four. The motion carries and the ordinance is passed. Number five is an ordinance abating the tax here to four levied for the year 2018 to pay debt service on $1,730,000 series 2012A general obligation bonds, alternate revenue source of the village of Bentsville, counties of Cook and DuPage, Illinois. Is there a motion to approve the ordinance? You have a motion. Do I have a second on the motion? Second. There being a motion and a second, is there any discussion? Please call the roll. Trustee Carmona? Yes. Trustee Franz? Yes. Trustee Jaworska? Yes. Trustee Penicola? Yes. That's four. Motion carries, the ordinance is passed. Number six is an ordinance abating the tax here to four levied for the year 2018 to pay debt service on $945,000, Series 2012B, General Obligation Bonds, Alternate Revenue Source, of the Village of Bensonville, Counties of Cook and DuPage, Illinois. Is there a motion to approve the ordinance? We have a motion. Do I have a second on the motion? Second. There being a motion and a second, is there any discussion? Please call the roll. Trustee Carmona? Yes. Trustee Franz? Yes. Trustee Jaworska? Yes. 
Trustee Penicola? Yes. That's four. Motion carries and the ordinance is now passed. Number seven is the ordinance abating the tax heretofore levied for the year 2018 to pay debt service on $1,400,000 series 2012C general obligation bonds alternate revenue source of the village of Bentonville counties of Cook and DuPage, Illinois. Is there a motion to approve the ordinance? Yep. Do you have a motion? Do I have a second on the motion? Second. There being a motion and a second, is there any discussion? Please call the roll. Trustee Carmona? Yes. Trustee Franz? Yes. Trustee Jaworska? Yes. Trustee Penicola? Yes. That's four. The motion carries and ordinance is passed. Number eight is the ordinance abating the tax heretofore levied for the year 2018 to pay debt service on $5,345,000 series 2012E general obligation bonds alternate revenue source of the village of Bentonville counties of Cook and DuPage, Illinois. Is there a motion to approve the ordinance? You have a motion. Do I have a second on the motion? Second. There being a motion and a second, is there any discussion? Please call the roll. Trustee Carmona? Yes. Trustee Franz? Yes. Trustee Jaworska? Yes. Trustee Panicola? Yes. That's four. The motion carries and the ordinance is now passed. Number nine is an ordinance abating the tax heretofore levied for the year 2018 to pay debt service on $3,785,000 series 2013A general obligation bonds alternate revenue source of the village of Bensonville, counties of Cook and DuPage, Illinois. Is there a motion to approve the ordinance? Do you have a motion? Do I have a second on the motion? Second. There being a motion and a second, is there any discussion? Please call the roll. Trustee Carmona? Yes. Trustee Franz? Yes. Trustee Jaworska? Yes. Trustee Penicola? Yes. That's four. The motion carries the ordinance is passed. Number 10 is an ordinance abating the tax heretofore levied for the year 2018 to pay debt service on $8 million sir, series 2013E general obligation bonds alternate revenue source of the village of Bentonville counties of Cook and DuPage, Illinois. Is there a motion to approve the ordinance? You have a motion. Do I have a second? I have a second. There being a motion and a second, is there any discussion? Please call the roll. Trustee Carmona? Yes. Trustee Franz? Yes. Trustee Jaworska? Yes. Trustee Penicola? Yes. That's four. The motion carries and the ordinance is passed. Number 11 is an ordinance abating the tax here two four levied for the year 2018 to pay debt service on 1625000 series 2014A general obligation bonds alternate revenue source of the village of Bensonville counties of Cook and DuPage, Illinois. Is there a motion to approve the ordinance? Do you have a motion? Do I have a second on the motion? Second. There being a motion and a second, is there any discussion? Please call the roll. Trustee Carmona? Yes. Trustee Franz? Yes. Trustee Jaworska? Yes. Trustee Penicola? Yes. That's four. The motion carries and the ordinance is passed. Number 12 is an ordinance abating the tax here to four levied for the year 2018 to pay debt service on $6,815,000 series 2014B general obligation bonds alternate revenue source of the village of Bentonville counties of Cook and DuPage, Illinois. Is there a motion to approve the ordinance? You have a motion. There is a second on the motion. Second. There being a motion and a second, is there any discussion? Please call the roll. Trustee Carmona? Yes. Trustee Franz? Yes. Trustee Jaworska? Yes. Trustee Panicola? Yes. That's four. The motion carries and the ordinance is passed. Number 13 is the ordinance abating the tax here to four levied for the year 2018 to pay debt service on $1,185,000 series 2014D general obligation bonds alternate revenue source of the village of Bentonville counties of Cook and DuPage, Illinois. <clears throat> is there a motion to approve the ordinance? Do you have a motion? Do I have a second on the motion? Second. There being a motion and a second, is there any discussion? Please call the roll. Trustee Carmona? Yes. Trustee Franz? Yes. Trustee Jaworska? Yes. Trustee Penicola? Yes. That's four. The motion carries and the ordinance is passed. Number 14 is an ordinance abating the tax here to four levied for the year 2018 to pay debt service on $2,425,000 series 2014E general obligation bonds alternate revenue source of the village of Bentonville counties of Cook and DuPage, Illinois. Is there a motion to approve the ordinance? You have a motion. Do I have a second on the motion? Second. There being a motion and a second, is there any discussion? Please call the roll. Trustee Carmona? Yes. Trustee Franz? Yes. Trustee Jaworska? Yes. Trustee Penicola? Yes. That's four. And fifth, the motion carries and the ordinance is passed. Fifteen is the ordinance abating the tax here to four levied for the year 2018 to pay debt service on $9,945,000 series 2017A general obligation bonds alternate revenue source of the village of Bentonville counties of Cook and DuPage, Illinois. Is there a motion to approve the ordinance? You have a motion. Do I have a second on the motion? Second. There being a motion and a second, is there any discussion? Please call the roll. Trustee Carmona? 
Yes. Trustee Franz? Yes. Trustee Jaworska? Yes. Trustee Penicola? Yes. That's four. Motion carries and the ordinance is passed. We do not have a report under the police department. We do not have a report under public works or recreation. Uh, let's move to presidential remarks. Uh, we have a couple things going on. Um, as everybody could tell, all of us here on the board are wearing pink, as well as our staff here are wearing pink. Uh, Bentonville has gone pink in honor of Breast Cancer Month, October. Uh, I know, we, I personally know people in my family that is battling breast cancer, and I'm sure everybody up here knows somebody that is uh, fighting that fight, but uh, we want to make sure that everybody knows that Bentonville does care, Bentonville does support our community, and that's kind of why we came in with the pink. I, I want to thank everybody for participating. Thank you very much. It means a lot to me. Um, so with that, we have a proclamation. Um, this proclamation is Breast Cancer Awareness in Bentonville, Illinois. Whereas the village of Bentonville is committed to raising awareness about breast cancer and the impact it has on our loved ones, friends, colleagues, and community members. And whereas thousands of women and men in our country take on the fight against breast cancer each year. And whereas screening and early detection can make a tremendous difference in overcoming breast cancer. And now, therefore, I, Village President Frank DeSimone, together with the Board of Trustees, do officially acknowledge the importance of raising awareness of breast cancer in our community as we work to support survivors, those currently battling breast cancer and those who might detect it in early stages, and that we recognize October 2018 as Breast Cancer Awareness Month in the Village of Bensonville, presented this day, October 23rd, 2018. So do I have a motion on this proclamation? Have you have a motion? motion? Do I have a second? second? Second. All in favor, please say aye. Aye. All opposed, please say nay. So that we have that proclamation, we will display this, Evan? Absolutely, we'll display it, we'll post it online to uh, get awareness out there. I think one of the important things for me is uh, it's not just women that are affected by breast cancer, men as well. Um, so men should also have themselves checked out and uh, keep that in the family history. So thank you guys for participating very much. Um, on to, uh, Halloween stuff, trick-or-treating hours in the Village of Bettsville is going to be 3 to 8, October 31st, October 31st only, 3 to 8. Um, also, we have a toy and coat drive distribution boxes. They'll be, be put up around town and the village in every department, some re uh, some retailers too, Yep. Uh, restaurants. Business, businesses can request them. Uh, that'll begin November 1st. So uh, that is all I have for presidential remarks today. Do we have village manager's report? Yeah, I've got one major thing that I want to get out there. Just a reminder of the um, public hearing that the village will be holding on October 30th in regards to the new zoning ordinance, the draft zoning ordinance that will be considered by the Community Development Commission. Uh, that meeting will be held here at 6.30 on October 30th. Um, and this affects the entire community. Um, every house, every business, every property will be affected by this. This is an opportunity to come not only learn about it, but also voice any questions, concerns, compliments, comments whatever so October 30th here in Village Hall 6 30 p.m. they can't trick-or-treat here though that day no we are we'll be closed for trick-or-treating at Village Hall um, and then if my computer was working with me we could work on that um, I have one agenda item on the agenda tonight you want to read it like me to read it yes please okay. resolution and an IGA authorizing Hinshaw and Culberson LLP as the represent as the representing law firm for the Bensonville Tax Consortium. Is there a motion to approve the, re the resolution? We have a motion. Do I have a second on the motion? Second. There being a motion and a second, is there any discussion? Yes. So like I said, this is my favorite meeting of the year because it's Taxpayer Advocacy Night. Um, the Bensonville Tax Consortium, um, I administer it. It's made up of the uh, taxing bodies within Bensonville. So that would include uh, School District 2, Fenton uh, District 100, the library district and the park district as well as the village of Bensonville. Um, instead of, you know, as we have a large industrial district, there are a lot of people that appeal their taxes to a point where it's not reasonable. This is our opportunity to stand up for the residential taxpayers in town and hold the line on fair market value. So in last year alone, we protected uh, $671,000 worth of taxpayer dollars. Um, and that comes at a very small cost because we share the attorneys with all the members of the tax consortium. So for less than $10,000, you're protected 671. It's a great program, it's a little wonky, but I, lo I love doing it and uh, I'll continue to do it for the taxing bodies. And uh, this will extend this IGA, well, it'll extend the um, engagement with Henshaw for another two years. Is there any other discussion? Thank you, Evan. Please call the roll. Trustee Carmona. Yes. 
Trusty Franz? Yes. Trustee Jaworska? Yes. Trustee Penicola? Yes. That's four. Motion carries and the resolution is approved. Do we have a village attorney's report? There is no report, Mr. President. Is there any unfinished business to come before the board tonight? Is there any new business to come before the board tonight? Do we have a need for executive session? We do not, Mr. President. All right, then. Is there a motion to adjourn the meeting? Second. Do we have a second on the motion? Have a second. There being, uh, all in favor, please say aye. 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 All opposed, say nay. Motion carries. We are adjourned. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen.